Peace family, this is Shofar from Full Show Energy Work, and I'm here to talk to you today about pride and doubt. Uh, the purpose of the video is to look at two parts of uh, you know, our emotions or feelings or uh, thoughts that can take us out of the zone, can take us out of alignment. And so, uh, you know, pride is kind of that part of our ego, is uh, when our ego is maybe in excess and maybe when we're feeling ourselves a little too much um, uh, and is not balanced out with the heart is when we, uh, we may be in a place of having plenty of energy, having plenty of a concept of, uh, of ourself, a, a high level concept of ourself, um, but it's very ego based, it's very self based. It's not um, in a place of flowing and looking at the interconnectedness of that no person is a for instance no one none of us are an individual you know for, to say that we are self-made you know these are some things that may be prideful because in all truth there's no one who is self-made even if we never knew our parents we were still made by parents even if we were made in the test tube somebody put the goddamn uh sperm and the egg together so there's nothing no such thing as self-made you see what I'm saying? So pride is having a very strong uh, me, M-E, male or masculine ego or uh, this, 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 this thing that doesn't understand the holistic, na the holistic nature of creation. So that is pride. And doubt is quite often fear-based. So when we doubt ourselves a lot of time there's some there's some fear there's some something that we are not complete yet or that uh, we need something else usually outside of ourselves um, or that we still need to go to another level these are some things that if we really look deep in them and try to get to you know look at the root of them what is the emotion there a lot of times we'll find that it's fear that it's fear and the thing for both of these, the, the remedy for both pride and doubt is unconditional love for ourself and connectedness with ourself and then being able to pull from the tree of life, being able to pull from the tree of life, oneness and wisdom and uh, uh, unconditional love and peace. These are some of the things that will help us when we either at pride or doubt, they bring us back to middle, they bring us back to a, an alignment. And pride and doubt will take us out of a alignment as far as what, what it is that we're here on the planet to do. We may still get results, but they may not be the optimum. And while we may still get results, um, even if they are working for us, they may not, because we're in a state of pride or because we're in a state of doubt, it may be throwing off things for those people around us or for the environment. And um, these are things that we don't want to do, right? We don't want to be in a place where just I'm benefiting because I'm in a state of pride, um, but I'm not looking at the overall picture and how it's affecting my loved ones or the environments or whatever. Uh, same thing with doubt. We need people on the planet that are in alignment with their self and not swaying to doubt, pride or doubt. Uh, and both of those take us out of the zone. The zone has the word one in it, right? Z-O-N-E. You know, pride and doubt take us out of the zone and they take us out of sacred orgasmic living. They take us out of, uh, they put us more in our head or in a state, uh, a state of uh, fear, you know, so, and with pride, another thing, one other thing I wanted to say on pride is that usually there's some level of possessiveness there, right? Like we may have pride about our race, we may have pride about uh, uh, where we work, you know. There's a healthy level of it, um, but what I'm talking about here is when it goes over into a negative state, when now it's my nation against this nation and my nation is better, or um, these are the things that, you know, it creates unnatural boundaries, you see. It, ca it causes unnatural competitiveness. Uh, and these are the things that have been kind of plaguing humanity for a long time. These are some of the
qualities of invasive masculinity you can please go watch my other video invasive masculinity or my other video male um uh me male ego or masculine ego these are some of the things when it when pride is turned too far up now we're in a state of uh, where it negatively affects ourself or and or other people all right so let me know what you think on that um what are, you, what are your feelings about pride and doubt please leave those in the comment uh, if you have more questions or want me to go deeper into things hit me up uh, again my name and if you like the video uh, please like and subscribe and share and again I'm Shofar uh, from Full Show Energy Work I do energy work uh, for couples and uh, you know singles I also do coaching for couples and singles uh, I have a book Soul Sacred Orgasmic Living and um, I also have a series of workshops uh, hip hop kundalini and uh, intimate relating. I do those with some other um, amazing uh, facilitators. And uh, again, thank you for taking the time to check me out. I appreciate you. Keep shining, keep climbing, y'all. Peace.